Anderson Cooper is keeping them honest. AC 360, CNN weeknights, 8 Eastern. There's an amazing documentary called Soul Train. It shows just how dangerous the journey out can be. The film follows four adults and a toddler. It's a little girl in pigtails. She's just two years old. As they try to make their escape. Now, in the part we're going to show you, they've left the safe house and have made it across the border into China, all the way to the gates of a Japanese consulate. Now, once inside those gates, they're told they'll be safe. But watch what happens to the woman and the little girl. Safety and freedom so close. Those were Chinese guards who pulled the woman and the child away from the gates. Now, China's government doesn't consider North Korean refugees worthy of asylum. Soul Train has given the world a rare look inside the lives of North Koreans. Jim Butterworth, one of the filmmakers, joins me now. Jim, it's good to have you back on the program. The fact that North Koreans would resort to such drastic measures for their freedom, I mean, it speaks volumes about the desperate situation that they're facing back home. Definitely. I mean, uh, in, in this situation, if they're caught and sent back to North Korea, they'll face almost certain execution. I mean, it, at worst, they're going to be sent to a labor camp from where they'll never, never emerge. I mean, they have a very, very bleak existence, and this is why they go to that extreme to try to leave. One of the things that just stuns me about North Korea is I did a piece recently about Camp 14 for 60 Minutes, and that, that in some camps they have what called three generations of punishment, where they don't just punish a political prisoner, they also punish that person's parents, that person's children. They want to wipe out three generations. I, I want to play another clip from your film Soul Train, a defector returns to North Korea with a hidden camera to just show how bad the humanitarian crisis is there. Let's watch. Many children suffer the most that really influence their growth. And uh, at the age of seven, North Korean children and South Korean children has about 12 centimeter height difference. So in inches, probably it's about five, six inches difference at the age seven we are supposedly the same genetic population all this military posturing by kim jong-un it makes an already bad food crisis in north korea worse for civilians correct absolutely i mean what you have is a situation where first the government is a mil mil military first government um, secondly anytime food aid comes into north korea it's going to be siphoned off and fed to the military first. Anything that's left over then may go into the food distribution system that then reaches the people. Your sources told you that North Korean agents had actually infiltrated China to go after not only defectors, but also the activists who were helping them. Is that true? Right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, uh, in fact, at one time there was a bounty uh, not only to capture refugees, but the bounty to capture activists that help refugees was 10 times greater than that. So if you crack down on the people that help the refugees, then you've cracked down on the refugees.